is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. I think it's number 86. Uh, so only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. I'm going to ask you to focus on the background sound. my side or yours and this may seem like a like the last thing that you may wish to do when you're ready to go to sleep ready to drift off it's accepting them in some ways it's welcoming them but at the very least it's just acknowledging them in the background here I have the birds in the trees because it's 37 in the morning that I'm recording this I'll try and record it during the night because it's the quietest time but as it's summertime the nights are quite short which is fine I absolutely love the sounds of the birds I love going to sleep to the sounds of the birds. It's nature. Natural. There may be other sounds where you are. traffic in the distance. Maybe you can hear your neighbours. Maybe it's windy outside. Maybe you can hear the central heating or the fridge in the kitchen. Coming along. And there's something quite relaxing about just accepting that those sounds are there. I've ever had an angry 
to sleep. Unfortunately, learn it from experience because I used to be very, very reactive to sounds, background sounds when I was sleeping or trying to sleep. I used to get angry, I used to yell sometimes. And that never, ever sleep and I know that it's kind of obvious why it wouldn't but at the time I didn't realise that anger and relaxation can't be in the same space They're just two different things. You can't be angry and relaxed. So it's a case of turning the feeling, turning the thinking, changing your reaction. Says right now my stomach is grumbling. I'm not quite I'm not quite sure why, but it's making some weird noises and I don't want it to do that. Because I'm making a recording. Ideally there wouldn't be any background sounds at all because I'm making a recording. There is. And I have two choices. I either stop the recording and wait until there's complete silence, which is pretty much never. Or I incorporate that sound, including the sound of a television <laughs> making the, the occasional clicking sound there's always little sounds just houses make their own sounds the walls are contracting the doors are contracting depending upon the heat and the coldness the windows is everything's continuously changing in the loft nested sometimes they just decide to have a big party but it's okay because it's either I accept reality or I lie in bed feeling angry when it comes to making these recordings what would be the point in me sitting here doing a relaxing deep sleep whisper hypnosis session gently guiding you and making positive suggestions 
start to sleep in gently, safely. If I was sitting here all tense and angry and frustrated, well, the answer is I wouldn't do that and I don't do that because the reality is the birds are singing in the trees. My stomach is rumbling. For some reason, I'm not sure, I think oh, I need to eat a banana or something when I finish this. So I wonder what sounds you've got going on where you are in this moment. if there's something that's you can control that you can change that maybe you know if you obviously you turn your television off or the radio off or music off if you've got something like that going sounds can be relaxing obviously not all sounds I'm not going to try and lie and make out the you know everything is relaxing because not everything is but most sounds can be relaxed into standard sounds I'm not saying that if a helicopter landed in your garden that you should just ignore it and allow it to just you know you should be able to just sleep through that the noise of a helicopter of course not we're dealing with reality here Plus, if a helicopter landed in my garden, I'm going to be looking out the window to see what's going on. Possibly filming it for Facebook. I don't know, maybe. This meditation technique, which is not what we're doing here, but it's something that is part of what we're doing here is the technique really is just observing your surroundings as well as being aware of yourself so you can be aware of that sense of relaxation spreading throughout your body as well as being aware of the sounds around you or in the distance 
percentage is focusing on the sounds. And now as you lay there or if you're lying on a, a sofa or a chair percentage of focus on your relaxation of your body and mind becomes a larger percentage of your focus compared to your focusing on the sounds that surround you and in a distance percentage of the focus is now on that sense of relaxation. The more those surrounding sounds seem to move slowly into the distance. sounds never were important. It's just the reality of what is. It doesn't need an emotion attached to it because it's not you. The birds and the trees are not you. They're not me. Individual beings doing their own thing, living their own lives, unconcerned by you or I. They're not bothered about us. Why should we be bothered about them?
sensation as you cross that safe bridge into a sense of calmness and safety and complete healing complete health and happiness special attention to those particular parts of your body or mind that needs the most healing. Now, as I count from five down to one, reach number 